This is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. But what about drunk bears? <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his office. Upstairs. Damn. They've still got this creepy mascot, huh? What? Officer Justin Beaver is not creepy. He's Delos Crossing's longest serving officer. Hold on. I want to catch up on all the Delos Crossing gossip. Oh, that's all just public safety stuff. Nothing that interesting. One hundred percent college tuition paid? Damn. Maybe I should have joined the National Guard. Be well, should I decide the wild world of accounting isn't for me? Uh, can't really picture you in the uniform. Really? I think I could pull it off. Too little, too late. Oh, that's still not cleaned up. Assholes. I wonder if the black oyster catchers were still nesting during the spill. God, I hope not. Home sweet home. Hmm. You spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. Hmm. Mm. Eddie must have locked it already. <laughs> Man, they are never gonna catch this guy. What exactly did he do? This guy keeps stealing out of people's mailboxes. Asshole snagged a box of fancy washi tape I ordered online. I was picturing an actual mailbox bandit. You know, like hopping around on a post with a little mask on the door. Huh? You know, the mailbox is the bandit. Sorry, it was a bad joke. How has this guy not been caught? Whew, that is going to smell lovely tomorrow. It's from Tessa's restaurant, right? Uh-huh. Everyone eats there all the time. It's as exciting as food gets in Delos Crossing. Why do they look so familiar? Come on, man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Me neither. That's Denise Wilson's desk. Remember her? Oh no, it was her birthday. I completely forgot. 
You're a terrible person. It's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. Remember this fella? No way. Is that Jet? Yep. He, uh, he died last year putting himself between D and a bear. Oh, damn. Poor D. Maybe she won't notice that I added it afterward. Locked. Well, what did you expect, Dum Dum? It's a police station. She's obsessed with sled dog races now. Is that even a thing? Oh, yeah. She goes to the Iditarod every year, and she's got a fantasy league called Musher's Little Helpers. It's really cool. Man, I forgot what kind of kooky shit people are into out here. Hey, now, I'm in the league. Looks like she forgot her locker key here. She's gonna give me so much crap for forgetting her birthday. You remember Dan and Shelby? I think so. The high schoolers who were always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Vecchi's parking lot. Yep. Dan's a cop now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Damn. When did everybody decide to become an adult? Oh my god, that's the cutest. It's cute, but don't tell me you've got baby fever. Ew, no. Why do men always jump to that? Gregs, just leaving this out on display again. Gregs? Like Officer Gregs? The one who was with us that night? Yeah, he's still here. He became a bit of a local celebrity after nabbing a murderer from Juno. The guy was hiding out on a fishing boat and got really, really sick after eating out of the chum bucket. So it was actually a pretty easy takedown. Something's in the way. Mm. Still locked. Tyler, you coming? I'm guessing this is where they stash all the guns and stuff. Well, it's not exactly Fort Meade, but yeah. You think we could find some files about Marianne in the archives? I don't know, but it's off limits anyway. 
Maybe Eddie would show us her file? Allison, hey. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? Coffee sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. Same here. I'm just gonna sit down in here, and I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. You okay? Yeah. I just usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here. I would too. never lets me back here. Huh. Rose left the computer on. I should take her out for a birthday drink.
damn it. Allison, how about that coffee we were talking about? I should take her out for a birthday drink. Remember this fella? No way. Is that Jet? Yep. He, uh, he died last year putting himself between D and a bear. Oh, damn. Poor D. Oof, I should have gotten her something. You're a terrible person. It's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. I can't believe they're going to prison for nothing. Something's in the way. Okay, let's go in. It's locked. Allison, how about that coffee we were talking about? So, she won't notice if we borrow this, right? Long as we put it back right where we found it, we're good. Ugh, they've let this place get gross. This is heavier than I expected. <clears throat> we really shouldn't be in here. Yes, but... You never know where we might find information about that night. I guess so. So Wilson leaves her locker key in her desk and her password reminder in her locker? That's so irresponsible. An intruder could easily access all kinds of police files with this. Yeah, like two goblin intruders.
Balto came through. I should take her out for a birthday drink. Bingo. Just Denise's work emails. Sam. He got arrested for public intoxication last week, and that was not his first offense. He's on a bit of a downward spiral. Check out this masterpiece. <laughs> you made it? Uh-huh. I glued it to the pot one day when I was bored, and nobody has bothered to peel it off. How is this still warm? You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh. I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Hey, you okay? I can't do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't, please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay? You okay? Honestly, no. Do you ever regret? No, no way. Well, maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. 
Look where I'm at. <laughs> Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. Do you mind if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? I'm not that hungry. It's the first time I've been in here since that night. Eddie was so uncomfortable, he dropped a vase. Here, oh. have a seat. All right. Sorry. Huh, they kept this? What? It's that vase. They glued it back together. I'm pretty sure Chief Brown is done with his phone call by now. Why did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. You're awfully quiet. Yeah, sorry trying to deal, but it's a lot. These are definitely the same cookies that were here last week, but knock yourself out. Ugh, I'm so hungry. Hey, sorry that took so long. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Hey, you remember this guy? Yeah, of course. How can I forget? Tyler Ronan, back in Delos Crossing. <laughs> it's uh, good to be back. And just look at you, a man grown. Yep, guess I ate my Wheaties. The whole clan's so proud of you. How you work with those kids at Fireweed. I always say children are the future. I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> Come on, bro. She stole her entire act from me. Everybody knows that. Look at you two. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? <laughs> yeah, not sure how I got by without this dork. Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marianne's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh, yeah? Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. I will tell you one thing though, your mom never knew where to hate anyone for being unconventional. Usually, it's the other way around.
Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for weeks. Maybe a month before. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. <laughs> we don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. <laughs> Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, her police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. <laughs> but you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you going to help us? Or are you going to be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but Fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about Fireweed. But I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense. But we couldn't be sure. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal. And you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please. Let's move on. She's never going to tell you how much that hurt her. But it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? Eddie was just doing his best to protect me. To protect his family. I thought I was your family. You are. Seven years apart didn't change that. Ten years apart didn't either. But Eddie's family too. Look, we've all fucked up. We've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just move on? Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I, I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. Don't wanna send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay, let's go. I'm sorry I cut my hair. I won't do it again. I'm going to kill you! No! Please! Please! Mom, no! Mom, please! No, don't do it!
Simpson. I killed her. I killed her. Allison, we need to call for help. I killed her. No, you didn't. I killed her. And when they come, that's what we're going to tell them. No, no. Yes, we look out for each other. That's what goblins do. And brothers and sisters, it's going to be okay. We're going to be okay. <laughs> Thank you.
So what now? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go big or go home.